everybody, my name is Star Wars Boy, and welcome to a brand new video of Star Wars Battlefront 2. We all know Battlefront 2 has lots of weapons. Some are overpowered, some are really bad, and some are just in the middle. Here in this video, we're going to be listing all the weapons and ranking them from worst to best. Just as a side note, I will only be ranking infantry weapons. We will be discluding all the base weapons as there's really no point in ranking them since they have no modifications and the base weapons are just the base weapon all in all. As I said before this will only be infantry weapons so hero weapons and reinforcement weapons will not be included. I may compare a version of the infantry weapon to a reinforcement weapon or a hero weapon, that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's start this list by going to our number 16 spot. Now I think everyone knows if I included base weapons, the base sniper rifle would be the number 16 spot, or in this case, the number 20 spot. But the number 16 spot is actually going to go to the cycle rifle. For me, this weapon feels unused. I really don't know why people would use this when you have other weapons. For instance, the NT-242 is unlocked before the cycle rifle and is better and is probably one of the best guns in the game. I mean, the NT-242 ranked very high. Why would you use the cycle rifle when you have the NT-242? It takes a very long time to kill, at least three to four shots, which is something you don't really want from a sniper rifle. It doesn't shoot through shields anymore, which for me is very lacklustering. All in all, I don't really like using this weapon. Now coming in at number 15 spot, we have the FWMB 10K for the heavy class. Personally, I don't remember using this blaster. It's much, much better than the base blaster, don't get me wrong, but I just don't remember ever using this. I feel like it's one of those weapons which you have to go through, a really bad weapon, but then at the end, it's a stepping stone towards the heavy's best weapon, the TL-50. Now coming at number 14 we have the Heavy's DC-15 LE. All I have to say about this blaster is it's very medium. I really don't enjoy this weapon and I only remember using it during the exploding shot glitch. Which if you're a Battlefront 2 veteran you know exactly what I'm talking about. Up next at number 13 is the S5 and I think this blaster is very fun for the officer if you know how to aim. Personally, I think this blaster is a nightmare for controller players, or at least for me, because I can't completely aim for this. Compared to all the other officer weapons, I feel like this one is very lacklustering. Up next at number 12 is the IQA-11. For me, this is another boring sniper rifle, but much better than the base sniper rifle, and certainly much better than the cycler rifle. It's not amazing, but it is fairly good. And it does take our spot at number 12. Now up next is the Blurg. For me, the Blurg only shined when it was a nightmare. I remember when this thing could one burst literally every class, including the Heavy, in the game. Now, after a massive nerf, it is down with the others. Now coming in the top 10, we have the EL-16 HFP. I absolutely love this gun when I'm using it with Finn. For the Assault class, I don't think this gun is great. It fires way too slow for me, and for Assault Rifles, I don't like high damage slow fire. I usually like faster fire with a bit smaller damage. For me, this gun just does not work. Now up next at number 9 is the CR2. This gun is an absolute machine if you're right in front of their faces. Anywhere to mid to long range this gun is an absolute potato. The only time I would ever use this gun is probably the second or what many people call the ship phase of supremacy. It just does not work for me at all. For me the main point of the assault class is to get some distance and be able to fire at close range. This gun is only suited for close range and it just does not work. Now up next at number 8 we have the DL-18. I don't know what it is, but I don't seem to appreciate lots of new guns. For me, the 5th gun should be better than the 4th gun. 
but for the officer this is just completely the opposite. If you look at this, this gun is very fine, but comparing it to the earlier gun, the SC-44C, it's a complete potato, which by the way, the SC-44C did very high on this list. Next, we have the T-21. This is one of the very few guns that I'm so excited about yet I haven't unlocked yet. This gun seems so fun to use and I've actually never tried a heavy rifle with burst mode. It sounds so fun to use and although I don't use the heavy a lot and when I do, I use the T21, this seems like a very good option to use. Speaking of the heavy class, we are down to its last gun. The TL50. This, for me, is a perfect example of grinding being worth it. After all the weight, you finally have this great gun. Its mods are very good, but just one is not great. And you all know what I'm talking about. The secondary fire for this gun is not near as good as Iden Versio's secondary fire, as obviously she can one hit all classes with this and the heavy use blaster cannot. It seems like a waste of a mod to put it on and I don't recommend doing it as you can't aim down sights while using it. For me though, everything else about the TL50 is great. I love using this gun. Now coming in at our top 5, we have the A280 CFE. This gun makes you play the specialist class completely differently. It lets you go to the front of the map instead of camping in the back for kills. This gun is absolutely incredible and shreds with his burst mode. All I can say is the dual zoom is not that effective with this gun, but it's still worth a try. All in all, this actually makes me play the specialist more often, but there is one more gun which makes me main specialist occasionally. Now up next is the A280. Most YouTubers rank this number one gun in Battlefront 2, but I'm not going to do that. This gun is awesome. The burst shreds. Everything about this gun shreds. And if number 3, 2, or 1 did not exist, then this gun would easily take the crown. However, as it used to be the best assault rifle gun, I don't think it is anymore. It's still amazing, it still shreds, but it's not the best. Now we're down to our last sniper rifle and this is obviously the NT242. This gun, what do I have to say about it? This gun is amazing. The one hit to the head is so satisfying and you can actually play aggressively with this sniper. It's hard but it's possible. This gun makes me want to play Specialist. It makes me want to throw out all my other classes and just grind Specialist every day. It does take skill to use, however, I believe it's worth it. And once again, if our number 2 and number 1 spot didn't exist, this would easily take the crown. We're down to our number 2 spot and this is obviously the SC-44C. If I'm thinking about overpowered guns in Battlefront 2, this is definitely it. This thing melts people and if you get good headshots and continuous headshots, they will be dead instantly. This gun for me is super good, super powerful, and I just love using it. Everything about this gun is spinning. However, even though I think this gun is ridiculously overpowered and super good, there is one gun that I recently started using that I think is better than this one. But there can be only one, and coming in at the number one spot, I'm so happy it's not the SC-44C. It is, ladies and gentlemen, the E-11D. Never before has a gun been so good that it made me switch classes. This gun feels so satisfying to use, and it's just amazing. This has turned me not only to an assault class main, but a death trooper main. It's the only reinforcement I use, and the assault class is my new main class. This gun is a little bit hard to use when you first get it, because you have to get used to it. But once you get the great mods, this gun is an unstoppable beast. 
getting headshots, this thing can laser just like the A280 and just like the SC44C. It may not be as overpowered, but it is definitely amazing and I think the best gun in Battlefront 2. And that is going to do it for this video. Be sure to comment down below what you thought was the best gun in Battlefront 2 and why. I am thinking about doing more ranking videos in the future. Please let me know if you liked this video or not and tell me why if you didn't like it. I will, as I said, make more ranking videos on different games and different aspects in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Bye and may the force be with you always.